Hello, welcome to Benjamin Tree. Today we're going to take a look at taking a text and pulling different parts of the text into different spaces. And to practice that, we're going to take these people's names and we're going to pull out their first name, middle name, and last name as our practice to see how we do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first name. This is the simplest one. And the fu function that we're going to use is uh, called left because we want to pull text from the left side of the entire string. So we're going to be pulling from A2, which is our first name, and the number of characters that we want to pull is we want to pull where the first space is. In order to find the first space, we need to use the function find, and we're going to find uh, the first space within the text of A2. Okay, but we're going to subtract one because we don't want to print that first space inside the first name. So we're going to subtract one, so that way it's going to start at the stop at the last letter of the first name. So we close it out, and we get Christopher. All right, let's drag and drop this for all the other ones, and it looks good except for Plato here because Plato does not have a last name. So there's a small thing that we can do to fix this really quickly in we can move on. So that's going to be over here called if error. Okay. So this function says if there's a check for an error. If there's no error, what value do you want me to output? If there is an error, what value do you want me to output? So let's add this into the R equation here. Okay. So we're going to say if there if error. Okay. If there's no error, use the regular thing that we just printed. If there is an error, just print the entire name because it means that they cannot, this function cannot find the space, so it means there's just one name, so just print the entire name instead of trying to look for that space. Okay, so we take this, and we drag and drop down, and now Plato shows up perfectly fine. Okay, so now we figure out how to find the first name. Let's move to the last name. This is the hardest part. But we need to find the last name before we can pull out the little middle name. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the right function to pull from the right where the last name is located. But we have to find the last space in the person's name. But the problem is we can't look for the last space. We can only look for a certain character. But what we can do is we can change the last space into a special character and then use that information to find where the last name starts. So we're going to break this down into different parts and build up the entire function so it's easier to understand. So the first thing we want to do is just practice changing those spaces into a special character. And we're going to be using asterisks. So we're going to use the function substitute, okay, and we're going to be substituting with an A2, the name, and we want to take all the spaces for now, and we want to turn them into a new text. You'll notice here it says instance number, and that means which of these spaces do you want to choose? You want to choose the first, second, third, or last. So we want to pick the last one, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to look about figure out how to choose the last space in a moment. So let's just close this down for now. And as you can see right now, we can get Christopher, Asterix, Ashton, Asterix, Kucher. It's a little hard to say. But we don't want both of those asterisks. We just want the last space to be an asterisk. So we need to figure out how many spaces are there. Okay, to figure that out, it's going to be the length okay, of the entire name. But then we're going to subtract the length of the entire name, but we're going to substitute in that text, take all of those spaces, and we're going to turn them into nothing. So we're going to have no spaces in this name, and we're going to subtract that from the entire name with the spaces, and that tells us how many spaces there are in the name. So here we get two, because there's two spaces between Christopher and Ashton and Ashton and Kutcher. So now we're going to take this special little formula that we typed and we're going to go back to our substitute formula and it's going to say all right find the spaces turn them into the asterisks but only do the last space into an asterisk so let's see what happens so we type in equals substitute okay and the text is a2 and we want to turn the space into an asterisk but we only want to use the last 
space. And to do that, we find the length of, we find how many spaces there are by subtracting the length of the text minus the length with no spaces. So we get the length of A2 minus the length of A2 that has had all of the spaces substituted out. Okay. And when we close it down, we get Christopher space Ashton asterisk Kutcher. Okay, but now we want to figure out how can we find out where this asterisk is. So we're going to do equals find. We're going to find the asterisk. And it's going to be within the text of the substituted A2. Okay, and it has the space turned into an asterisk. But this is the last one, which is the length of A2 minus the length of A2, which has had all of these spaces turned into nothing to pull out. So we pull it, we find the, where this asterisk is located, and it's located in the ninth position. Now we want to do that to find the last name. So we're going to use the write function. We're going to go equals write. Okay, we're going to be looking inside of the text A2, and the number of characters that we want to pull out is the entire length of A2 minus where that star is located. So that's why it's going to start at the end, and it's going to stop right before the star. Okay, when we do that, it gives us Kutcher. Okay, great, that's what we want. But instead of having to break down the entire equation, let's put everything together so that way we can do it with one formula and copy and paste it. Okay, so let's take a look here. We're going to the length minus find. Okay, and we're going to find where that star is. And we're going to substitute with A1. And then we're, sorry, not A1, A2. Okay, we're going to substitute the text of A2. We're going to substitute the last space into an asterisk. And then we're going to you only do the last asterisk. So we're going to do the length of A2 minus the length of substituting all of the spaces inside of A2 into nothing. Okay, and then we close that down. And we get Kutcher, which is what we want. Okay, so we're going to copy this formula. Okay, we're going to come up here. We're going to paste it in, we get Kutcher, and we're going to drag and drop everything. And it looks good again, Plato's causing a problem. What we need to do is use that if error value. Okay, so this time we're going to add the if error. If everything's okay, then we're going to use the giant equation we just wrote. If everything's not okay and there's no last name to display, we're just going to put nothing there, so that way it displays nothing. Okay, so we drag and drop again, and then here we go. Plato is showing nothing because he has no last name. All right, so that works out well. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out, first thing we need to do is make an equation say, is there a last name? Because Mark Twain doesn't have a last name, Virginia Woolf doesn't have a last name, and Plato doesn't have a last name. In order to do that, we're going to say, is the value of the first name plus, or the length of the first name plus the length of the last name plus two spaces greater than the entire name? Okay, so Mark plus Twain plus two spaces is greater than Mark plus Twain plus one space. That means there's no last name. So let's take a look here. We're going to find an equation to do that. Okay, so we're going to say uh, if the length of B2 and B2, the first name and the last name, plus two spaces is greater than or equal to the length of A2, then that means there's no last name. But if this is false, then it means there is a last name. So let's just put middle name right now for holder. Okay, we type that in. Ashton Kutcher does have a middle name. So let's drag and drop this down. And we can see Mark Twain, Virginia Woolf, and Plato do not have a middle name. So, so far it's working. But we don't want to just write middle name. We want to pull that middle name. Okay, so let's go through and replace that and find a new equation. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our mid function. means pull from the middle of the text. 
And what we need to do here is we need to pull from A2, and we're going to pull the length of Okay, we want to start. We want to figure out where the start is. That's going to be the length of the name plus two spaces. That's space, and then the first letter. And we want to start at the first letter. So we're going to pull the length of B two plus two. That's where we're starting. So this will start at the A in Ashton here. And now it's asking how long do you want us to go for? So the number of characters that we want to pull is going to be the length of A two. Okay, then we're going to subtract the length of uh, B2 and B2. So we're going to, and then we're going to add, subtract two more from that. Okay, so what it's saying is the number of characters that you want to pull is the length of A2, his entire name, but we're going to pull out the number of characters in his first name. We're going to pull out the number of characters in his last name, and we're going to pull out the two spaces. So the only, the number of characters that you're going to be pulling is the length of his middle name. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this down, and then we get Ashton here. All right, so when we drag and drop this, it works out nicely. All right, so this was a very complicated lesson today, but as you can see, using the find function, the substitute function, the if function, the length function, the if error functions, and the left, mid, right functions, we are able to create some uh, formulas, albeit, albeit it's going to be a kind of complicated formula, that will automatically pull out the name of every single person. Okay, their first, middle, and last, and it'll leave blanks if there are no middle names or last names. Okay, so, yeah, this is very helpful if you have a very long list of names. Okay, and you can use these, these the logic of pulling the names for other things and other activities you have to do in Excel. But just kind of using that logic to figure out how Excel works can help you create different formulas and functions for different situations. All right, so for practice, we got another list of names of people. Again, there's some people with two names or just one name. Try to do your best and try to create these functions. And don't just copy and paste you know, from here. But see if you can rebuild these functions using the logic and do it by yourself before trying. And you know, check if you have to. And then when you finish, you can come down to practice answer and check to see if you got the correct thing. I uh, hope you were able to learn a lot today and follow at, on Benjamin Tree. Uh, we appreciate you watching these videos, and you, know, you can download this on the blog if, to practice these functions. Have a great day, and see you later.